My name is John Papas. I live in East Hampton and I live around here for more than 40 years. My name is Clever Lopez. I live in Sprints. I'm the owner of East Hampton Market and I also own Inter Deli and John Papa's Cafe. Okay, my name is Angela Daunt. I live at 3 South Dorset Drive in Montauk and I have lived there for 33 years. We're at John Papa's Cafe. I'm a waitress in East Hampton. I was in a store and um, the TV flashed that all the businesses were going to close and that they only needed essential workers. And that, um, you know, at that point, it kind of hit home, home that we were in trouble, you know, that we were in trouble, you know, with this, that we didn't know where, where, what to do and where the vaccine was going to come from. And, you know, people were losing their lives. So when I saw that flash on the TV, I said, this is really something to, um, to be concerned about, you know what I mean? And it was just in the very early stages of the pandemic, so I mean, we've come a long way, but that's when it really hit home. I was in a, in a store that was not closed yet, and that's when they said, you know, these places need to close, and we're just doing essential workers and, you know, eight o'clock curfews and all that. So that really is when it hit home for me. Just tell you the truth again. Uh, it was um, extremely difficult, especially at the beginning. I had to work, my cousin too, seven days from opening to closing, especially here. You cannot change much, basically, in the food industry. It's not something, let's do it on the internet and uh, sign over <laughs> the documents. Uh, it requires physical work. I didn't want to lay off any employees, so, uh, you know, it says, if I go, I go with them. You can help them to one point. After that, if you don't have help, you can help them. But we, we did got help uh, from the government. And, and it, it was a big boost. It was like a new foundation to continue. We talk about it all the time with, you know, my co-workers, customers, and they all share different experience from the pandemic. Some of them not so good because they were, you know, with the COVID, but some of them, they, they never had it, or, and some of them, they were very sick. I also has, has friends and family who unfortunately passed over from the pandemic. Um, which is very sad, but um, you got life continues, and you know we gotta see for each other. We gotta care for the other people and try to be the best we can. I went through also uh, COVID, uh, hospitalized. Uh, I been in the ICU for many days. Uh, pretty much they didn't know if I'm gonna make it. <clears throat> uh, then I had to stay out for three months to be totally clean and able to stay on my feet and work. Uh, and it was, that gave much more weight to my cousin. Uh, it was brutal. <clears throat> You know, I had a pregnant daughter-in-law who I couldn't really go near because nobody knew if we had the coronavirus or not, so it was very hard to tell. And um, it was kind of scary because we all had to stay distant. You know, I mean, we, we got together very, very seldom and stayed the six feet apart because it was just brand new. And nobody knew how you could get it or what was going to be. And, you know, my daughter-in-law was pregnant and I didn't want to harm her in any way, shape or form. And um, Wish I could have enjoyed the pregnancy more, but we did get a beautiful little granddaughter out of that. So. People start getting more comfortable. They start coming, they start moving around. And we came to the point that we actually had more business with, like before the pandemic. We've been very lucky, we've been very supportive of the local community. I. 
thank them. I appreciate all you do for us. But another problem was the shortage of employees. Uh, and that made it devastating. I have uh, four, four kids. One is 23, who is helping me out with the business. Uh, and my other daughter, it's, um, she's 18, she got a college. She also helped, helped me out. And I also have my wife, which she's my very best friend and love, which I love her. And she helps me out here too with the business. I think it brought people a little bit closer together. It gave people a sense of fear, but also a sense that a community can come together and we can all get through this together. And with, with it being together, we can be strong and we can overcome anything. It made me think a little differently. Uh, it it made me think that it's not just the work. Uh, it's also you have to have a better mental and better uh, thinking. People who are more supportive, they try to help my employees, they, they, they were tipping better. Uh, it, it, it changed people's minds uh, about life and how we're going to continue. So I hope it stays that way. I hope that that kind of mentality would stay for good. Everything he has like uh, a stop. Like some of them, they're retired. I would say it, not because of the pandemic. It's just, you know, it's time to move on. Time to just, you know, leave it after like John Papa's after 31 years, I think. You know, it's just time for them to relax and live the life, I would say. Wake up call. Love and family. Love, family, friends. Unbelievable. That's my word. Unbelievable.